Hi folks, Mike Pappas, pediatrician. Uh, before I took a new question, I just wanted to follow up on last week's discussion about spanking. Got a lot of positive comments and some negative ones. Um, but I think even though I got some negative ones, the big picture, I wasn't trying to indict anyone's parenting skills or tell you you're a bad parent because you have been spanked or were spanked or anybody's parents that spanked were bad. Uh, that's not my intent. I love my parents and they're great, continue to be great role models. Um, but spanking was just part of a certain culture. And I would say this primarily, if this is your rule, which most of our as parents, our rule is to always protect our kids and want them to be good, good human beings and loving people and forgiving people and tolerant people. And we also want to protect them. So we don't want a bully to punch them or hurt them or a boyfriend or girlfriend that we as parents always hope that no one hurts our children. They don't physically hurt our children and we make rules that we will not allow anyone to hurt our child. It won't be a teacher or a neighbor or cousin that will discipline or physically hurt our child. So if that's our rule, that we don't want our child or our children to be physically hurt, then that's our rule and we stick to it. We can't have that as our rule and say, it's okay if I do it because I'm a parent, but I don't want anyone else to physically hurt my kid. Only I can do it. If our rule is to not have our child to be physically hurt, then we have to follow it even if we're the parent. Also, I'd say in the justification, well, I did to my kids, they turned out right, and then my parents did to me and I turned out all right, and their parents did to their parents, and so on and so forth. I don't know if that's justification to continue to do something that is not beneficial or won't help your child, so I don't know if I buy into that. Now another question came up in discussion from a mom, and then she said, while my husband doesn't physically hurt my children, he'll flick their ear, you know, the back of their ear, or slap them on the back of the head, or pinch them just to get their attention if they're not paying attention or behaving. Is this a form of physical abuse? And I would say, well, if my daughter came home from school and said that a boy was flicking her ear or slapping the back of her head or pinching her or causing her pain when the teacher wasn't looking, I'd tell her, that's a bully. We have to end this, that he's just trying to inflict pain on you to manipulate and dominate you and think that he's in charge of you. We have to end this. We have to dress with the right people and never let this happen to you again. So even though it's the father or the mother or the brother or the best friend, it's still bullying and it's a form of an emotional abuse. So anyway, that's my take on it this week. Next week, I'll start with a fresh topic. I appreciate everybody's comments, positive and negative. They're all presenting a nice civil presentation. If you have any concerns or comments about this discussion, please, please feel free to post them. Otherwise, uh, have a great week.